They're closing out what has been a really wild week, a week, of course, that was dominated by those earnings out of NVIDIA, a week that everybody was really focused in on tech. But at the end of the week, the attention actually shifted back to the macro and back to inflation data. The net effect of it all, though, we continue to see stocks rise, both on a daily basis and for some of the indices on a weekly basis. The S&P closed higher by about seven-tenths of a percent on the day, though flatline on the week. The Nasdaq, though, did its best to show why it is what it is. There was a lot of activity in the crypto space, particularly, though, with Bitcoin. The big Ether rally that was supposed to happen after that approval didn't quite materialize. And then take a look at the two-year yield here. While the yield picture didn't change a whole lot, there was a lot of volatility in between. That could change in a couple of weeks when we get the big Fed meeting. Now, that second line of your screen, that's a lot of the software companies out there, Scarlett. We talk about NVIDIA and how they had a great day, a great week, we should say. But some of the software companies, I don't know what's going on. They didn't do well at all. Not so good. Yeah. And one of the big cap software companies is Workday that we're taking a look at here. Down 15% on the day, the biggest decliner in the NASDAQ 100. The enterprise software company cut its full year subscription revenue forecast, uh, saying that customers were being a lot more scrupulous, a lot more cautious with their orders overall. And of course, that cast a pall over what it could say for the rest of the year. Meantime, Dell Technologies, a hardware company, climbing more than 4% on the day, gaining for a fourth straight day. And in fact, since NVIDIA reported its results, it's gained almost 10% alone. So this company reports earnings next Thursday, and ahead of those numbers, we're seeing analysts turn increasingly optimistic over its role as a supplier of AI servers. In fact, last quarter, Dell said that its backlog of AI servers reached $2.9 billion. So we're going to get an update on that over the next week. Now, speaking of AI, one market story that I've got my eye on this hour is utilities and how they've become a growth play on top of their traditional role as safe havens that pay rich dividends. In the past three months, the group has returned more than 16%. That is double the 8% gains in communication services and tech. You can chalk it up to the AI boom since AI data centers consume a lot of energy. Vistra and Constellation Energy are the biggest individual winners with several hedge funds building or adding to their stakes in the company's last quarter.